Hello and welcome. I'm Vincent McCorry. This is Africa 54. U.S. officials say a Malaysian jet flying from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur was shot down as it crossed eastern Ukraine, killing all 298 people on board. The downing of flight MH17 is the second major loss for the beleaguered Malaysian Airlines in four months, and it escalates in an already tense situation between Ukraine and Russia. VOA's Caroline Prusudi has more. The first pictures of Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 crashing into the eastern Ukraine countryside. A fireball, then black smoke. The plane took off from Amsterdam with nearly 300 passengers and crew. At first, a mystery over how the 777 crashed. The aircraft did not make a distress call. Now U.S. officials say the plane was shot down by a surface-to-air missile. Vice President Joe Biden. Shot down, not an accident. Blown out of the sky. U.S. officials have evidence of the tracking of the plane by a missile system and the heat signature of the hit. But by whom? Each side in the Ukrainian-Russian conflict blames the other. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. We are not calling it an accident or a disaster, but an act of terrorism. Russian President Vladimir Putin. The state over which territory had happened is responsible for this terrible tragedy. History shows both countries have the capabilities. A Ukrainian missile mistakenly shot down a Siberia Airlines flight in 2001. <laughs> Koreans in the 1980s were protesting against Moscow after the Soviet downing of a 747. And in the last few weeks, pro-Russian separatists shot down planes over Ukraine. But not known is whether the missile was intended to hit a military plane or if it did target the civilian plane. John McGraw, a military pilot and retired FAA investigator, spoke to VOA via Skype. That level of missile is usually tied in with a network of radar systems so that they can better determine what kind of aircraft they're shooting at. Uh, it's also going to depend on the, uh, the sophistication and training of the operator. The shooting down of passenger airliners is not as rare as one may think. Hero Ratner of the Netherlands Aviation Safety Network, speaking via Skype. Uh, well, the um, ASN database uh, showed that uh, there have been um, 23 shootdowns of uh, civilian passenger planes since World War II. Of those, uh, most uh, shootdowns occurred uh, during civil wars and other uh, other. Uh, fighting going on. Uh, of those 23, six uh, shootdowns have been accidental and the others have been uh, on purpose. Beyond the crash investigation, another debate begins within the aviation industry. How now to defend jumbo jets or any civilian aircraft against these sophisticated missile systems? In Washington, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.